I was like living in my mom's basement at the time. I was like 15, worked at a pet shop. And were you and, doing uh, drugs or anything at the time? Oh, yeah. 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 That, that, I don't do drugs now. I don't yeah. do drugs now. But yeah, but it wasn't because of snakes. It was just because I was a rocks guy. You know, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm just trying to get the whole picture. I don't know if it's a guy, yeah. like a kind of a nerdy kid down, you know, I yeah. don't know if it's a science kid down there doing no, volcanoes, always... doing snakes, or if it's a kid like, uh, you know what I'm saying, who's listening to some Megadeth and some ACDC, yeah. Megadeth, and a little bit of gas and then yeah. petting something, you know? Yeah, well, you know, I was always pretty good about not messing with the snakes when I was, uh, you know, partying it up a little bit. Should somebody that's high, because first, uh, two, two questions. One, I think I re I remember my friend Alex had a snake. He would feed it. We he would feed his snake dog food pieces. Mm. Is that possible? Or was I? High? I mean, you're probably high. high. You're probably high. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Appreciate I'm I'm that. not going to say that it it can't happen. I'm just saying that I've never seen it. Okay. Yeah, because I was I've had this memory my whole life, and then I'm like, I don't know if maybe we're high. So then the yeah. second part is, do you think drug induced people should be around snakes? No. And what? Sorry, answer. Uh, no, you, you okay. that, no one talk, you, listen, you know, any animal, especially a, a reptile or a mm -hmm. big cat or, you know, something that could potentially hurt you. And, you know, listen, a lot of snakes can hurt you, but I'm talking a bigger snake. You know, we have a rule that, like, number one, you can't even go in with a big animal without a second person with you in our place. But, uh, and no one can be intoxicated on any level. Okay. Say you have to be intoxicated, right? Okay. There's a federal yeah. mandate, yeah. Yeah. you know. And I'm not talking like with the vaccine. I'm talking like federally mandated. You got to be got to be high. Some type of drug. Yeah. What is the best drug to be on around a snake? Probably marijuana, you know, because it chills you out. You know, maybe they sense a little energy thing or something like that. I know a lot of keepers that smoke a lot of reefer. Yeah. Yeah. I f yeah, I feel like that fits. Now, what is a drug that you would not recommend probably being on around a snake? Definitely not like mushrooms or LSD. Yeah, that'd be a bad idea. Really? Yeah. I mean, you're barely knowing what's going on. You got some snakes striking at you. You know, you think it's maybe a goblin or something like that. It's not Is a idea. snake more likely to strike at you if you have uh, sunglasses on? Uh, probably not. Some animals would. I would say like lizards, like giant lizards and stuff like that, they get a little freaked out by stuff like that. They're more visual, you know what I mean? Snakes what, aren't as visual. What about skin lotion, like a Vino skin lotion? Like uh, a basic moisturizer. Uh, probably nothing too major, to be honest with you. They, I've never seen anything too agitated by smells and stuff like that. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.